I'm Rowan, I work at Theatre Mildan and Theatre Mildan Film Society have just shown Departures um, in the WOW Film Festival, Wales One Wales Film Festival. It's a great film and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it. Um, it's basically about a cellist. Um, he's spent his whole life training to be a cellist and at last he's got a job with an orchestra um, and he's just bought a new cello for nearly two million yen uh, when the orchestra goes bust and he's looking for a job and he sees an advert in the newspaper what looks like it's going to be a travel guide's job he thinks okay I'll go for that and uh, eventually he turns up for the interview and he's offered the job on the spot um, he's completely taken aback by this but it turns out that in the article they've missed one of the Chinese characters out um, and it's not a job um, for a travel guide it's a job to see people off on their journey in other words seeing people off on their journey into the afterlife and there are some really really moving parts particularly um, you know with people coming to terms with losing their loved one with people um, seeing their loved one um, in a new way because the Norkan Shi using his skill with makeup has kind of transformed this dead body into um, something really beautiful and they see how beautiful um, the dead person was when they were alive. They might not have seen that before, they might have had issues with them. And I think a lot of the things running through this film is to do with finding yourself, finding your true vocation and kind of living life to the full not living kind of half a life and, and um, his wife comes home and she says oh I've just been given um, this octopus so I'm going to go and make supper now out of this octopus and then there's a scream from the kitchen and the octopus is still alive and it's writhing all its tentacles so instead of actually just killing it which is what most normal Japanese people would do they decide to go and set it free in the river <laughs> And this octopus kind of really floats funny. off. It really it makes you laugh out loud. Really ancient practice before we had reading and writing. Um, if you wanted to send a message to someone in another part of the country, you would find a stone down by the river that kind of summed up all the feelings and all the words that you wanted to say to them. Um, so this is what I wanted to say about departures. I love this. <laughs> I'm on the rocky road Heading down off the mountain slope And as my steps echo, echo Louder than